Hi, this is Yvette Francina from SearchSoftwareQuality.com here with Jean Tabeka, who just delivered the keynote at the Mile High Agile Conference. Um, Jean, tell us the essence of what you spoke about. Uh, the conference is about elevating agility. And when Brad approached me about that, I just couldn't have been more excited because of what I believe about community of thinkers. And that, start, that was some work I started in 2009. A lot of the talk that I wanted to bring to people was more about how each one of us is as an individual part of the community of thinkers. And that means doing things that I, I brought a lot in from Seth Godin's book, Lynchpin. So I'm really hoping everyone reads Lynchpin now. I think I better start asking Seth for some royalties or something <laughs> like that. Um, but the whole sense of bringing your genius self in and doing your emotional labor, being willing to lean in and ship, being an artist, I think all of those things help us create a community of thinkers and then that came back for me about how we elevate where Agile is. It's been around for 10 years from the Agile Manifesto. We have 500 people here today at the inaugural Mile High Agile event. We are going to be creating an amazing community of thinkers as a result of this event. So I hope that was the message that came out in the keynote. Your final story was about why you're here with no oh, yes. shoes today. I'm not wearing any yes. shoes. It's because um, I learned about a young man, Blake Maisaki, who formed a company called Tom's Shoes, and the whole reason that he did it was he wanted a way to bring shoes to children in poor countries. And he said, the best way for me to do this, and he really leaned out of his comfort zone, he formed a company and said, for every pair of shoes I sell, I will give a pair of shoes to a child somewhere. And in fact, he took it even further, which I didn't mention in the keynote. And the way he delivers the shoes is that people that work in his company actually take the big uh, shipment of shoes to the location and every one of them puts a pair of shoes on a child's feet. So it isn't just contributing, it's actually taking it, leaning in, bringing your emotional labor in and putting those shoes on that child's feet, the very first pair of shoes they've ever owned. So that's why I'm barefoot today. <laughs> All right. Thanks for asking. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ben. <laughs>